Hi, this is Connie. Today I have a review for you on a fountain pen that's not very well known, but is actually a very good writer. I've always wanted to try this, but there hasn't been a lot of information online about it. So a big thank you to Brittany at Tombow for sending me this pen to review. It is called the Tombow Zoom 101 fountain pen. It is very lightweight. It's only 12 grams or around 0.5 ounces. The pen is cappable, so I would count the whole entire weight in. If you're used to a heavier weight fountain pen, this might not be the pen for you. This is what I love about Japanese made products that the leverages and the opening and the closing are all very sturdy. As you can see the lever here, when you spring it up, you can really feel that steadiness, which I like. Um, the whole body is not all black, as some pictures online may suggest or seem. It is actually a gunmetal color with carbon fiber pattern on it. I'm not sure what material the nib is made from, but it is a very smooth writing nib. The pen comes with an ink cartridge which for the price of 220 on Tombow's website, I was expecting a piston filler, but it wasn't. Um, the standard international ink cartridge converters do fit in here, so that might be something you would like to consider when you make this purchase. One thing that took me a while to get used to on this pen is this really small grip. I write very close to the nib, so as you can see, this transition area from the nib to the ink part, this kind of catches on my middle finger a little bit. But once you get used to the angle that it kind of wants you to write at, it's quite comfortable to write with. Um, this is a very smooth pen. And I know everybody says that in fountain pen reviews, but this compared to my Parker and my Cross limited edition pen, it's a very smooth writer. And it doesn't really have a sweet spot where you have to position your pen a certain way for, for the ink to flow. So I will write with it and you can see how it writes. All in all, this is a very smooth writer, and would I suggest you getting this as your only fountain pen? Probably not, because I do like the heavier weight, but this is a very good on-the-go pen because of its weight and how smooth it writes. Thank you for watching, and let me know if you would like to see more fountain pen reviews.